guidance counselor at Chestnut Ridge, and I'm representing Skidmore College. Hello, I'm Mr. Caldwell, guidance counselor at Chestnut Ridge Middle School, and I'm representing San Diego State University. Hi, I'm Ms. Luna, guidance counselor at Chestnut Ridge Middle School, and I'm representing Fordham University. Ella is Ms. Caffrey, representando a Skidmore University, and the Mr. Caldwell, representando la Universidad de San Diego, y yo soy Ms. Luna, representando la Universidad de Fordham. So, we would like to welcome all the parents and students to our third annual Think College Now Fair. Actually, this is our first virtual Think College Now Fair. We are so excited that you all decided to take the very first step on your journey. We're going to call it a journey to your college and career. It is a huge first step and we're very so happy that you came to be with us. Le damos la bienvenida a todos aquellos que en esta noche nos están viendo. Um, agradecemos que en esta noche han tomado la oportunidad para aprender de nuestra tercera um, Think College Now carrera. También esta es nuestra primera evento virtual y le agradecemos a todos los estudiantes que, y los padres que estén mirándonos a través de las redes sociales. Nos, les damos una cordial bienvenida. We have a fun night planned for you. We have some amazing guest speakers who are going to inspire you on your journey towards college. And we have some special guests of high school students to talk to you about what it's been like for them at college, getting ready to go to college. And by the end of the night, we hope you are picturing yourself in a cap and gown on your way to college. Esta noche tenemos varios eventos que van a ocurrir varios oradores que van, han venido a participar con nosotros para hablarle a ustedes sobre cómo obtener, lograr entrar a las universidades que es accesible a todas las personas. Esperamos que al final de la noche ustedes puedan verse graduándose como en esa foto. So our hope, by the end of the night, that all of you will realize that you can go to college or you can have the career that you want. It doesn't matter what your background is, what kind of financial situation you're in, all that really matters is that you work hard, you plan and prepare to get yourself ready to go to college or get the career that you want in your life. So with that said, all we have to say is... Ready, set, go! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a unified community, the East Round Post Central School District is committed to educating the whole child by providing a healthy, safe, supportive, engaging, and challenging learning environment. Our vision statement is, we are becoming proficient in all that we do. Welcome to Chester Regional School's Think College Now Night. And I'm proud to introduce my administration team. Welcome. Here at Chestnut, when you become a seventh grader, we want you to start to think about college now. Everybody can go to college if you want to. It's only up to you and your determination. And at Ivy World School, the world's your limit for where you go to college. Now presenting. Dr. Brewer, Vice President of Enrollment and Student Affairs at Rockland Community College. Hello, Chestnut Ridge Middle School. I am so excited to be with you today. My name is Dr. Helen Castellanos Brewer, Vice President of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs at Rockland Community College. I was so honored and humbled to be able to join you for your Think College Now Fair. And I'm excited that you're already planning for your college future, even uh, at this early stage of the game. 
There are going to be a lot of people who are going to be wondering, why are you even thinking about college? Or you may be wondering, why is college for me? There's a couple of things that I want to tell you, a couple of tips that I want to show you in terms of why it's important to go to college. The first is, who doesn't like to earn money, right? So did you know that a college graduate will earn about $1.2 million over their lifetime? A high school graduate will earn about $800,000 in their lifetime. So that means that if you're a college graduate, you are likely to make more than almost half a million dollars more than a high school graduate. Now, if you don't like money, leave it at the table. But I certainly know that I would have a few ideas on what to do with over $500,000 if I were you. The second is you have to know that going to college is more about your mindset than it almost is about your academics. I don't dispute that academics are important. You have to study, you have to try. But I will tell you that I've seen time and time again, individuals who are successful are the ones who say to themselves, I know I am worth it. I know this is important to me and to the people I care about, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen. So it's a mindset because it's a choice that you're going to make. And that first mindset really comes into play in terms of the choices that you're going to make. You're going to need to be able to choose the decisions that not everyone wants to choose. For example, it's easy to say, I'll worry about that assignment later. I want to go hang out with my friends. There's this party I want to go to, or there's this person I want to hang out with more so than my studies. It's easy to do that. And if you don't do that and you are focused on your studies and you hear about things after the fact, you'll think, wow, I missed out on so much. But when you tell yourself that you are worth it and that this is just a temporary sacrifice that you're going to have to make, trust me that it will pay off. And I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, I was a, a daughter of, I still am a daughter of, um, immigrant parents from Guatemala. We didn't have a lot. I had to work after school. I had to, when other people were having fun on the weekends, I was taking care of my younger siblings. We have about a 10 to 12 year age difference. So guess what? I was the in-house babysitter. So when I wasn't at school, I was with them and my parents worked day and night. So I had to help them as well. And, you know, a lot of when we go to school, we think it's just about us. But I'll tell you that the day that I graduated from college, Every single one of my mother's sisters, my aunts, cousins, uncles, I mean, I didn't even have enough tickets for my family, were there. Some of them waited outside of the arena because they just wanted a glimpse of me in my cap and gown. And you know the reason why it was so important was not because it was this huge event in my milestone, it was a validation that all of the sacrifices that had been made for so long were worth it, that now life was going to be different. And it was, and it became different. Eventually, I went on to be the first in my family to graduate from, from first from college, then graduate school, and also to get a PhD. That my family could never in a million years have imagined that going from Guatemala with a small little shack that they basically lived in to eventually having a daughter who would earn this type of credential. I didn't think I could do it. But guess what? My family kept pushing me and they didn't have a lot and they didn't know a lot about the system, but they told me I couldn't give up. And that's what I'm telling you right now. This is about choices. This is about making sure that you say I am important and I'm important to those around me, those who love me and those who have sacrificed for me. So I'll tell you too that the other thing that's going to be important is first the mindset. Second is going to be making wise choices about what programs of study you go into. So people often say, well, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to be this. But they don't really research it to make sure it's what they want to do. So I encourage you to do research. And guess what? You live in a generation that is the most blessed generation ever because you have Google. You can Google anything. So start to Google careers. Start to see where you can stand out because of your talents. Many of you are probably bilingual in Spanish or you speak Creole. That is a talent. That is a skill set. That is something that you can leverage. So find a career where you can leverage that. Go into the sciences, go into math, go into technology. That is the future. It is not always the easiest road, but certainly it is the road that will pay off in the future. 
find careers where you can stand out. For example, gentlemen, there are not a lot of male nurses out there. But guess what? When a male nurse graduates from a nursing program, they are scooped up like that by hospitals and doctors who want them in their offices. There are not a lot of male teachers. So think of where you can stand out. Females, there's not a lot of females in science and engineering. So make sure that you go into fields that are not always going to be the easiest, but certainly where you will stand out. And listen, it's going to be a hard road. It's not going to be easy. There are going to be pitfalls. There are going to be mistakes you're going to make. You're going to tumble. You're going to fall. But there are people around you who want to see you succeed. There are your teachers, your guidance counselors, your principal, people like me. I want to see you succeed. I am invested in your future. And I want to be able to see the day when you can walk across the stage proudly and hear those now noisy noisemakers that your family is going to make and when they scream your name. Because that is a day when we're proud that you graduated, but also for the generations that came before you, it is a moment when we can just see all of the wonder and the bright future that's coming as a result. So we are happy to um, receive you at Rockland Community College whenever you're ready. Um, but in the meantime, continue to focus on your academic studies, continue to put yourself first, continue to make the right choices and say, I am worth it. I'm so very proud of you uh, for continuing to be involved in your college uh, exploration. And if I can ever be of any service to you or help to you, please feel free to reach out to me. I am always at the college, so feel free to um, let me know how I can help. Congratulations again, and thank you for the opportunity to be able to share some perspective with you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello. So, your thoughts determine your actions. What does that mean? All that really means is what you think determines what you're going to do. And the reason I'm sitting here in my office to talk to you about thoughts determining your actions is because I have a really great story about that shows a great example of exactly what that means. About eight years ago, I had a student who came to this country in elementary school, didn't speak a word of English. He really wanted to learn English and do well in school. He had great hopes for his life. He did that. His thought determined his action. So he learned English. By the time he got to be in middle school, he was an honors student. And I remember one day he was sitting right here in this chair. And I said to this, this young man, I said, so what, what, what are your goals? Do you have any goals? And he looked at me right in the eye and he said, I want to go to Harvard. And I said, wow, that's amazing because that's an amazing school. And I said, you know, you have to work really hard to go to Harvard. He said, yeah, I'm going to go to Harvard. And wouldn't you know it, four years later, that young man got into Harvard with a full scholarship, all paid for him, because his thoughts determined his actions. Nothing was going to stop him. He worked so hard in middle school and high school, and he got himself into Harvard. So your thoughts determine your actions. What is the number one reason why students get to go to the college of their choice? Is it A, because they have lots of money? B, good grades in high school? C, high SAT or ACT scores? Or D, excellent letters of recommendations? And the answer is good grades. We spoke to college admissions counselors from the state as well as high school counselors from this district. They all agreed good grades is the number one reason why students get to go to the college of their choice. so proud to introduce Haley Rodriguez, senior at Spring Valley High School and former Chestnut Ridge student, as she talks to you about her journey through high school as she's preparing for college and career. Hello, my name is Haley Rodriguez, and I would like to talk to you a little bit about my journey from middle school to high school. I started as a freshman, as many of you will in the fall, full of excitement and trepidation. 
I wanted to start strong and set a positive tone for my high school career, but I did feel the pressures of high expectations from family members and teachers. I did not want to let them down. Have you ever heard the expression, men plans and God laughs? Well, this statement is the epitome of my freshman year. In the beginning of October, I came down with an illness known as Coxsackie. It wasn't pretty, and it led to me being absent for two weeks. If that wasn't bad enough, my weakened immune system led to me having something called adenovirus, and two weeks absent turned into two months. By the time I was feeling better and had to return, it felt like my whole world was in shambles. How was I supposed to get my grades up, establish relationships with my new teachers, and solidify my friendships when I had missed so much? It seemed impossible, as if all my plans for not only a great freshman year, but a great high school experience were circling the drain. I began to feel hopeless and to believe I would never catch up. And if I could not do that, I would not be able to go to a good college and move on after high school. I feared I would be stuck. It's a good thing I nipped this mentality in the bud as early as possible, because thoughts like that can only lead to dark places. What I came to realize is that I am the master of my own fate. It did not matter what the universe threw at me, as long as I believed that I could find success. I had to work twice as hard in each and every classes. I honed in on my time management and organizational skills to make sure that everything was getting done. I set small goals for myself so as not to get discouraged, and I made lists and schedules to keep track of everything. I utilized the resources available to me online, and I hosted study sessions with my friends. And I carried these tactics with me throughout high school because I came to realize that these tactics were the keys not only to catching up, but the key to success in each and every class. Once I was established in my academics, I decided to branch out with my extracurriculars. By the spring of freshman year, I decided I wanted to try something new, so I tried out for the softball team. I fell in love with the sport and had so many amazing experiences. In my sophomore year, I decided to run for class president. I continued to act as president in both my junior and senior years. I also volunteered at the Finkelstein Library, where I tutored kids in grades K through six. There was nothing better than watching a child that had previously been struggling string together a sentence or solve a math problem. Overall, I've had an extremely fulfilling time in high school, and it only happened because I decided to take back control in my life. I am now applying to some of the top universities in the country, and if there is one thing I can say to you, it is that now is the time to take control. I know we are in the middle of a pandemic, and I know things are seeming bleak, but please, please do not let yourself fall. You may be thinking that college is four years away, and that you do not have to worry about it, but trust me, you want to be as prepared as possible and not have any regrets. Half the battle to success is harnessing your inner strength and having the courage to make a better future for yourself. Each and every one of you has the tools for success, for high school and beyond. What are you going to do after high school? Hmm, I don't know, just hang out, I guess. Hang out? Your future is hazy, trying to figure it out Asking why I'm here, so you crashing in doubt It's your choice, so voice it, whole world your oyster Can't be dropping the ball when your future's nothing to toy with Telescope and stay focused, make a mark and get noticed Get the degree, thermostat, help me out, float If you wanna fly jets, you should go to college Reach high and cash checks, fill your head with knowledge If you wanna watch pain, don't go to college But for everything else, you should go to college You can study Baby, build and robots, build bridges, commute Get your walk on, be a math major, hop a moon crater, be an astronaut, be up in the sky like a baby. Finance is a science, but you still need a degree. Archaeology, astronomy, but not astrology. No, no, no. Flotus on the track. Southside Chicago, we all know we had to do overtime every night to make it tomorrow. And everyone can really make their dream true. Hey kid, listen in Michigan, that could be you. But well, a dream is just a dream unless you go hard. Einstein put it in time, here's a flow chart. Naturally, it won't happen magically, but you can change fantasy into reality so dramatically. If you wanna fight crime, you should go to college. If you wanna write rounds for your head with knowledge. If you wanna steer a glass, don't go to college. But for everything else, you should go to college. Better make room. Better make room. We coming. We applying. 
That paper is not getting thrown in the garbage. You go to college. I said college. I said college. I said college. You know they always fall the finger. College. Go. And our next speaker, who we're so grateful could come and share his story with us, is Mr. Jeffrey Patrick. He's an instructor of medicine, New York Medical College, a public health advisor for New York City Health and Hospitals. Welcome, Mr. Patrick. Hello, everyone. How are you? I, I would first like to thank Ms. Luna and thank Ms. Darling for an extending an invitation for me to come and speak on this very important occasion. The Chestnut Ridge Middle School Think College Now Virtual Fair. Oh, before we go any further, disclosure, I'm not slouching. I have a broken hip, permanent disability known as ankylosis, so my chair is built so I can sit like this. So is he slouching? I get a lot of people ask me that, but I'm not slouching. I'm in my home and I'm in my chair. And I, I, I've come to talk about something very specific. Now, who am I? My name is Jeffrey Omar Patrick, Master of Public Health. I am also an instructor of medicine at New York Medical College School of Medicine. I am a public health advisor level two for New York City Health and Hospitals, involved in community engagement, contact tracing for those underserved population who are suffering from COVID-19. Now, why am I here? I'm here for a particular reason, not only to speak to you, but to also speak to the motivation within you, the thing that makes you do what you do. The title is Think College Now but I don't want you to do that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to think now. Scratch the college part and think now. I want you to contemplate something very deeply. I want you to think so, so firmly. What am I gonna do with my life? Think about it. What is the next step for me? Think about it. How am I going to make things different for myself? Think about it. Think about how you are going to change your life in the most positive way possible. Backstory, Mr. Patrick. Very smart guy. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to, I don't want to sound egotistical or anything like that. But I have a robust brain function. Very vivid. I can think of all types of things and now for let's 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 stay focused. I am going to give you some secrets that you will have for the rest of your life when you think about college. Think. Now one of the things is people say college isn't for everybody. I don't believe that. If you're going to be a mechanic, you're going to be a better mechanic with a bachelor's degree. If you're going to be an electrician, you're going to be a better electrician with a bachelor's degree. Anything you want to do, you go to college. It's higher education for a reason. Think critically. Think. Do not stop thinking. It is absolute importance. It is what make you do what you do, that motivation within you. The idea that I wanna get across right now is that we, you and me, have to make sure that we continue moving forward. Back to my backstory. So, smart guy, I left, I never went to college. Hear me out. 
never went to college. And back in 2007, I was on my motorcycle. And it started to rain. Like, it didn't start to rain, but the rain, the clouds were gathering. And I said to myself, I'm going to beat the rain home, right? I'm going to beat the rain home. Jumped on my bike. <laughs> I woke up two weeks later in the hospital. Knocked the nerve loose in my eye. Shattered three of my right ribs. Crushed my right hip while I sit here slouching like right now. And nine pins, titanium that is, and a plate hold my hip together. I was at home thinking, man, I could have died. And I don't even have a bachelor's degree. I don't have no education. So I decided to go back to school. The greatest thing that ever happened to me. That's why I'm here speaking to you now. Because I want you to realize what is possible. I ask myself, what is the one thing that I can do where I can help the most people I possibly can? And I wound up in medical school. And I'm still still looking to move forward with my doctoral and, and keep it going. And make sure that I stay in school as much as I can. I, I'm looking to become a top-notch professor. You can too, in whatever field you choose. But only if you think now, at age 13, you are allowed to go and search for scholarships, search for schools. You don't have to have it all figured out. Look at me. Look at me. I, 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 it took me years to go back in, but I went back in. And now I'm here trying to tell you that I wish I would have done it earlier. Why? Because things would have looked different for me now. So, here's a secret. In order for you to think now and go to college, you must have an intimate relationship with the library. When I got to Columbia University, the first thing I figured out was, whoa, these librarians know everything. Go in there and ask questions and look for what is important to you. The librarians at Columbia, they're so smart, they know how to give you right answers to wrong questions. Yes, yes. This is why I want you to think, what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? Think about what I've said. Think about your family. Think about them. Think about how you're going to take care of them. Think about how you're going to be an example. Lead by example. And take care of everyone that you know. And college, my friend, higher education is the step in the right direction. Make no mistakes about it. Have no qualms with college. Have no mishaps on the way. But if you do, Come back in because your future depends on it. And it is the right thing for you to do no matter what you want to do with your life. Critical thinking. It is the most important thing that you can do for yourself and those around you. So take it from Mr. Patrick. Enjoy your life. Do right. Do good. And think about what you're going to do for the rest of your God-given life. With that, I say thank you, and we will hopefully meet again in person, and you can tell me all about what school you're going to go to when this whole COVID thing is over, okay? So you guys, take care. Much love and respect. Bye. <music> Now presenting Genesis Palma with Tips for Success. Estamos presentando ahora a Genesis Palma con cómo obtener logros, puntos para obtener logros. Hi, I'm Jen 
and I am a senior at Spring Valley High School and here are five tips for your academic success in high school. Number one, don't be afraid to ask questions. It is essential for you to understand what you are learning. So raise your hand or speak to your teacher after class. Number two, always take notes. When you take notes, you happen to be more engaged and it will help you narrow down what you need to study when there's an exam. It's also easier than reading a textbook. Number three, learn to say no. When it comes to peer pressure, stick to yourself. Don't give them the satisfaction of doing something that you are not comfortable with. Number four, get involved. Not only does getting involved show who you are outside of the classroom, but it also looks nice on your resume. So get into sports, get into clubs, make new friends. It is important to discover your likes and dislikes, and you get communication skills, work ethic skills, and attitude skills. Number five, find friends who will uplift you. It is important to have the best memories in high school because it goes away so fast. So make sure you have friends who are uplifting you and encouraging you. Push each other. If they are distracting you from your education, they're not your friend. So remember to always be on time to class, pay attention, and have great memories in high school because it goes away fast. We are so glad that you joined us for our third annual Think College Now Fair. And we hope you had a great time watching this and that you learned about other people's journeys and that you are ready to start your own journey towards college. But the evening is not over yet. Gracias por estar con nosotros y participar de nuestra feria de universidades en esta noche. Pero la noche no ha terminado todavía. We now have four activities planned, and when you do these activities, your name will be put into a raffle to possibly win some amazing prizes. Tenemos cuatro actividades que queremos que ustedes participen de ellas, y si participan, se van a ganar muchos premios en esta tarde, en esta noche. Just a few of the prizes. We have a Google Nest, we have headphones and gift cards, just to name a few. Tenemos varios regalos, tenemos unos headphones, tenemos varios regalos que les gustaría a ustedes. So now we have, starting with a scavenger hunt, you're going to go back to the original slide where you clicked on to see this presentation, and there's the list of activities starting with a scavenger hunt. Primeramente tenemos la actividad busca de los oros. Y usted va a la, a la página original donde comenzó esta presentación para la búsqueda de tesoros. You're going to click on the link to bring you to the scavenger hunt, and it's a Google form. And on that form are questions that you can answer from things you learned about tonight, as well as if you want to do some research on your own. Cuando vaya a la presentación original, usted va a presionar ahí para que usted vaya bajando a todas las actividades que vamos a tener para ustedes en esta noche. And then we have a State University of New York SUNY school search. You're going to click on that link, and it will take you to a, an activity all about State University of New York schools. Después tenemos otro, otro link donde usted puede entrar que se llama Búsqueda de la Universidad Estatal de Nueva York SUNY. Then we have a fun College word search, where you can go on, you pull up the document, and you can highlight finding all the different words that are all college related. Después tenemos una búsqueda de palabras de términos universitarios. And the final activity, there is a folder, you'll have a link there too, to see all sorts of cool videos that your teachers made to tell you about their journey into college and beyond. Al concluir la cuarta actividad, vamos a tener videos de nuestro maestro de la Escuela Intermediaria Chestnut Ridge para compartir con ustedes la experiencia de ellos sobre la universidad. Have a good night and we look forward to reading all your activities. Que tengan una linda noche, gracias. Y esperamos que disfruten de todas las actividades que tenemos para ustedes en esta noche. Bye. Bye.